Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. Welcome to another edition of Tool Time Tuesday. This week, we're gonna take a look at a very simple, very inexpensive tool, the Automatic Center Punch. I use these all the time, super handy, and we'll show you these in just one sec. First, let's check out a viewer knife. I got an email from Dimitro, and he sent me a picture of this knife that he had made, and I really liked the handles that he did. He's got that two-tone wood. Uh, I'm not sure if he did that himself, or, or maybe this was a, Sometimes you can buy stuff for like butcher block or something like that that's done up this way. Either way, what a great option. It has a really nice classy look to the knife. And also the Kydex sheath is absolutely fantastic. Uh, nice loop there for a ferrocerium rod. Uh, that's a great thing to do when you're making a knife because now you've got a fire uh, kit basically on your belt and it takes a very little extra room as opposed to just a knife and a sheath. So really nice option. Good job, Dimitro. Really appreciate it and thank you for sending that in. Okay, let's take a look at automatic center punches. All right guys, so here's two samples of an automatic center punch. It's a center punch, uh, just as name implies, but it's automatic. So inside of these barrels here is a spring and then there's a little release mechanism and a little hammer. And what happens is you simply press this down and when it reaches the end of its stroke, uh, the spring will release and there's a spring that will act on a hammer and it'll come and smack the end of this uh, little punch here and create a little divot for you in the material. Uh, these things, uh, ones like this you can find at most hardware stores, they're probably around 10 bucks. This one here is a blue point, so this was off the snap-on truck. Incidentally, this has been the best lasting tool uh, automatic center punch that I've ever had. I typically look at these as a consumable tool, not a lifetime tool. Just the way that they're designed, I usually only get six months, maybe a year out of one of these. And I've actually had this one and use it very regularly and I've gotten two years out of this one already. So I forget the price on this one, obviously a little more than this because it's a blue point, but so far I think it might be worth it. But just know that if you're gonna buy these, they're not a tool that you're just gonna buy and use for the rest of your life. I'll typically buy two or three to time and that way I've always got one when one fails I, I get rid of it uh, and uh, get a brand new one so getting back to the basics why would you want to center punch anything well if you've ever drilled a hole in steel that hasn't been center punched you know that once you lay out your hole and you go to drill it your drill bit will tend to walk on you and you won't get that hole started exactly where you want it so by creating a little divot in the metal with a automatic center punch or a regular center punch you create a tiny little cone shaped dent in the in the metal and that's just enough to hold the tip of the drill bit captive and it will prevent it from going out of where you want it to be really really handy so to use this simply lay out where we want our hole to be and press down and now we've got a tiny little divot in there and that'll be just enough to hold the tip of a small drill bit now these ones don't create a lot of force uh, so they don't create a huge hole in the material often when I'm using these I will follow it up with a traditional center punch and a hammer just so I can get a, a bigger divot depending on the size of, of drill bit that you're using but these these ones here will typically be just fine for like an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths or smaller anything bigger if you're drilling a quarter inch hole often the divot created by these is not quite enough to keep that bit captive these are also used by uh, first responders, paramedics, firefighters for motor vehicle rescue. Uh, these things make excellent glass breakers. Say if you need to rescue people inside of a vehicle and the windows are all up and the doors are locked, you, you can't access them, they're unconscious. Uh, you can simply take this, press it against the glass and give it a push and it will very, in a controlled manner, break that glass. And if there are people conscious in the vehicle, it's a lot less intimidating than coming at them with a large object to smash the glass. So it's actually a very common carry item for paramedics and first responders to have one of these on them and actually a lot of tactical supply stores will sell these and they're used specifically for getting into vehicles to effect rescue. All right guys well that's it for this week's Tool Time Tuesday automatic center punches. Really inexpensive tools, handy for a beginning knife maker or an experienced knife maker or all other types of fabrication in your shop. Really really love these tools. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them and thanks for watching. Cheers.